Right, hello ladies and gentlemen. Vandag, I, I want us to do a figure one. Figure one of PSSDN1. PSSD, which is planting and structural steel drawing. Boilermaker drawing N1. I want us to do figure, figure one, right? Let us read the question for figure one. The question for figure one, which is question one, read as follows. Figure one diagram should one attached shows an elbow formed by an intersection between a cylindrical pipe and the right cone. The common central spear method is used to construct what the elbow. The elbow would be used as an inlet to a milk tank in a dairy. Draw to a scale one is to one the following views. So you know scale one is to one, which means it's a reduction scale. So 1.1, draw the given view of the elbow. 1.2, the line of penetration between the right pipe and the right cone. 1.3, the pattern of the plate to manufacture the right cone. The, the joint of the pattern must be marked, must be at what? XX. So XX is the joint. So which is this one? Which is this one so let me try to 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 show you clearly the dimension the dimension because they are not clear there so from here till here is diameter 150 right from here till here is diameter 150 then from here till the center is 76 millimeter right from here from here till there is 70 millimeter and this 45 is the angle of the cylindrical pipe so this cylindrical pipe is at an angle of 45 degrees so the diameter of the cylindrical pipe is 90 it's 90 so this xx is actually here yeah, on the what on the cone so from there till here yeah, is is 116 millimeter 116 millimeters so your very first step to uh, your, your your very first step that you you must start with draw the di diameter of 150 so you're going to say 150 divided by 2 why divide by 2 because they said use a reduction scale of 2 so the 150 divided by 2 we are getting 75 so this 75 is still diameter so to draw diameter 75 you must then say 75 divide 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 by 2 so why now because of we are looking for a radius so the radius which is 37.5 so you take your drawing compass you open it to 37.5 so the 37.5 is between 37 and 38 so that's where the 0.5 is then you draw a diameter throw it after you through your 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 your, your di a diameter of 75 remember uh, 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 not converted to the scale this is diameter 150 but remember 150 divided by 2 both of the scale we get 75 75 divided by 2 so that you get the radius you 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 understand so this is diameter what diameter 75 double check this is 75 you you understand there is 75 so from here till here remember you must observe the protocol or the laws of orthographic projection so from here till there is a uh, 20 millimeter that's orthographic projection so now this line this one from there till there is this one now we are, uh, we are already at the bottom part of of our what of our front view of our front view now let's go from here going there the set is how much is 76 but remember because of the scale you must say 76 divided by 2 remember so it's 38 so you come from here going up you measure 38 millimeter put it at zero this is 30 35 40 isn't it so 30 35 36 37 35 36 37 38 38 38 is there so why the 38 is 
you put your horizontal faint line put your horizontal faint line like this then come to what to draw a cycle of diameter 90 diameter 90 which is this one isn't it diameter 90 double check we are not given a dimension from here to your apex point do you see we are not given that dimension so you have to it's gonna come out for itself after you have drew this one after you've drew this one it it will just come out for itself how let's get rid of it let's get the, uh, rid of it how then you now you're going to say you're going to say 90 divided by 2 you are getting 45 right and then 45 45 divided by 2 remember why because now we are, uh, we are looking for a radius isn't it so how much are you getting you are getting 22.5 22.5 so you open your compass to 22.5 this is 20 21 22 the 0.5 is between it's between 22 and 23 right so you come you get this There it is. Then what do you do now? You must draw it faint, isn't it? So I, um, I hope you, you, you still see my faint lines. Then from there, what do you do? You take this point to the circumference of the cycle. You take this point to the circumference of the cycle. It, it must just touch like this. Draw it faint. You, you you understand. Then from there what is happening? From there what is happening? Now from here at this point you can then put a angle forty five degrees. Angle forty five degrees like this. You can even draw it dark. Remember it's a center line, which means it's this one. It's this one throw it dark like this then from there come back here take the circumferences of the cycle this like this 